Hello you beautiful people! Getting consistent characters, clean camera shots and smooth video generation doesn't have to be complicated, at least if you pay for it. This AI platform brings everything into one place so you can focus on creating, not troubleshooting. Today we're checking out Design, where you can not only generate stuff but also use their other features. This is another one of the series, is this AI tool any good? AI. Let's create a new project and try the character option here, right? So right here we have a button, we say choose a character. So we have like a bunch of presets that we can choose from or we can actually build our own characters, right? So we can either describe it or have our own images and we'll have to upload like, well it says from 1 to 30 images of the same person, 5, 12 by 5, 12. I prefer doing my lores 1024 by 1024, but you know, everyone's a little different here, right? Select a reference image and a style. So let's say this one and we are generating and now it's creating our character, right? So basically this is a LoRa train, right? So you train your own LoRa and you can use more images to train it, but it's a little easier than regular training. So let's try to make me and make me wave. So prompt here will be Sebastian waves goodbye or hello. Hi. So design added this new camera feature here. So how would you generate images now? Yo, so you, you would just generate your character and prompt to have like different types of camera shots. And sometimes it will work, but sometimes you'd have to generate more times to get, you know, whatever you want. Right. So with design here on the camera option, you actually select from the beginning if you want the front view, back view, left view, right view, whatever, right view, you get the point. And the camera shot is like close up, upper body, full body, wide shot. So I'm assuming this goes into some kind of style here, right? So let's say that we want to have a left view and upper body shot aspect ratio. Here we have some different dimensions so we can customize whatever, but, but let's just do like a 16 by 9. And let's use the normal mode here. So this takes four fast image credits to generate. So let's just generate. On the right side here, we have the generations basically. And here is our character waving with the front view and the wide shots. And it's in the description, right? So we can either variate this, favorite this, place on canvas, or, you know, download the image. So when you download, you can choose uh, the file type, you can upscale. And we can choose to have it with or without the watermark. Again, stop using watermark for paid users. Ridiculous. On the right side here, we have some more generations. We can choose which one of these you want to have. So, so there's a lot of stuff, right? And so the, let's say that we want to change the, the direction of this character. So uh, let's say that we will have a, a right view of the character instead, right? And this time, let's change it to, to a close up. How about this? Is this close enough? And then after you select the camera direction and type of shot, you just click generate again and the same character as prompted here is going to be generated with the new camera settings, right? We are using the normal generation here, not even the fast one. And this one takes less than a minute, which is, I would say it's okay. So here we have two images that were generated after we selected what we want uh, to have like the left view, right? So when it comes to image generation, right? If you're using, say you're using older models like Stable Fusion, right? You would want to have an image in seconds. Like SD 1.5, you're going to get an image like in one second, two seconds. If you're using uh, SDXL or bigger with bigger resolutions, obviously it's going to take, you know, a few seconds more. If you're doing flux, I would say like 10, 20 seconds. That's about the time I want to wait for an image. So we're actually seeing the right part of the character's face here. It gave us two options that we can uh, modify, but it's, uh, it's like a close up and it's on the right here. So, uh, um, you know, it did what we wanted to do. So yeah, that's about it, right? So this feature basically could save time and effort having to regenerate the same image over and over again, just to get the camera right. So this is like the canvas again. Now let's say that we want to have like this image that we basically had with me me, Seb. What we do here is to mark an area for editing and you have the option to use the lash, lasso, the brush or the you know, automatic tool. So this is in painting basically. So let's say that we want to add a character here, the lip boy character. And we can say this character is having one hand raised and waving goodbye or hello. That's up to you. 
So let's do it. Double click to place on canvas. And now we have both characters waving and standing on the canvas. Now let's move on from this and let's go to the AI video generation option. And here we can actually have the option to do image to video. We have lip sync, we have text to video. And when it comes to image to video, well, there's going to be a lot of API connections, right? So we have Kling 1.6, Pixverse, Minimax, Lumaray, we have, you know, even Kling 2.0. And some of you might be thinking, well, well why do you have Kling 1.6 and 2.0? Well, yes, 2.0 might be a little bit better, but 2.0 lacks some of the features that 1.6 have. Depending on what you want to do, you might want to have both of them. Anyway, so let's take this generation, for example, here, and let's say that this is going to build our start frame. If you're new to AI generation, you might be like, hey, whoa, what? You can do that. And if you've been around for some time, you, you're like, oh, okay, so yeah, we know how that works. It's started and frame. You can do that with open source. And each of these calls differently because, well, probably they get access to their API and the credits. So here's the API, the, the, the company, the, the Kling, the Minimax, the whatever, right? In the middle here, in front of my face, here, is design and over here is you you are paying design to send you stuff from these guys over here Boop. so it's basically paying for a convenience of collecting all of the stuff over here so we have the these the the, the minimax is the clang the the whatever right and taking all of those sending them to the to design to giving you a user interface and then sending that on to you that's the product right and all of these are charging differently. So you have everything in one place and there are a lot of tools like this. And if you just want to see how different models generate the, the same thing for you, well, you can, you know, select the different model and go for it. Inside here, we're going to pick an image, we select this and we want to make a generation of it. And uh, let's say, say that we have this cyberpunk style image of me, right? So for the prompt, let's use walking down the street, lights reflecting on his face. He stops, looks around, and keeps walking. And then we're going to do 10 seconds for this generation, and let's generate. I know we said 5 already, but let's, let's do 10, whatever, right? And this is going to take a, between 5 and 10 minutes, it says. So let's try a 5 second, too. So we have the same here, and let's try to do with Kling 2.0. I do like Kling. Kling is nice. I also like Minimax. I also like the tools that give me free access. No, I don't. Uh, if they're bad, I don't like them. But many of these video tools are all like, they're all good-ish. So here's the first video. Lights reflecting, stops, looks around, keeps walking. Looks pretty cool. Our other video is generated with Kling 2.0. Let's see, let's, he looks around, then walks away. Also pretty cool. So, I mean, you've seen this, these AI video tools by now. They work, right? Now let's just do a quick test of the text to video model too. So th for the text to video model, let's make it five seconds and away we go. Generate. And here we have our results. So what do we have more? Let's try the lip sync option here. So we're going to pick a face, drop this in, select an image, face, ratio, not ideal. Okay, thanks. I'm not sad. Okay, so I don't know what that is, but let's see. Let's pick a, a voice here. So we have text to speech. And we can upload our own audio, right? Select or drag and drop an audio file here up to 30 seconds. Okay, that's nice. So we can use different types of tones. We can select more languages here and play around with the speed of the voiceover, right? Let's say that we want to upload our own voice and make it realistic. I have this, it's 28 seconds recording that I'm going to add here as a reference. Now let's just click on generate. For the lip sync, we're going to wait around five to 10 minutes, but due to the power of editing, it's now finished. And here is our generation. Hello, you beautiful people. Today we're checking out design. This is another one of the series. Is this AI tool any good? Nice. It made, uh, it's, it's a roughly 30 second thing, right? That tragic love story about onions really made me cry. So it's pretty good generation. What do you think? Another cool thing is that here we have the face kit option and the expression edit. We upload this image I generated and on the expression edit, we either have templates or we can adjust everything individually. On the templates, we can basically select an emoji right and it's going to generate whatever we want. Let's say this shocked emoji. It, you know, kind of makes our face look like the emoji. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it did it. Let's try this one too. Well, it kind of works. I mean, it's a fun thing. It's a little weird and creepy, but I like it. So let's try this one too. And here, 
on the custom we can basically select everything we like we can smile or laugh and change the eye position so whatever we look like let's, let's see the eyebrows let's you know let's erase them a little bit yeah okay it's fun let, but just just reset everything maybe you know like roll the head a little bit to the right even is that think no that's left that's right so it's turning around and you know it's like a really fun thing to do if you want to change the expressions and everything oh let's try this one with the wink pretty pretty cool so this was designed an AI platform that makes it convenient for you to use different models in your generations which also has a fun features like the lip sync and the expression edit and uh, again this is one of those paid tools if you're using your own computer you have a 49 and everything installed on your open source machine well you know maybe this is not for you but for some people out there this could be for you and a lot of people have been asking hey is this tool any good well if you want to pay for this convenience it's up to you let me know what you think if you try it out link in the description as always have a good one see ya